what why did you decide that you wanted to go freelance yeah um i think it was always my goal um so i left uni and went straight into doing uh like working for people do not i was doing what was my official title it was like marketing and engagement or something like that so it's a lot to do with social media marketing which had zero experiencing um but i managed to figure it out as going as i was going along and then from there went to work for a magazine a food magazine and then went traveling came back was working for a design agency and i think by then it had been about two years or so two or three years that i'd been working in different spaces and I'd sort of had a taste of what I enjoyed and what I really didn't enjoy. Um, and I, I was doing freelance sort of on the side in my evenings and weekends. And I was like, this is actually something that I really like. I really enjoy um, dealing with clients and talking to them and, and working one to one with clients. Some designers don't like that. They want that. They want all of that to come through someone else. They just want to get the work. They do it, and they want to work in one specific area. Yeah. Um, whereas I like working on a range of different things. Um, so I think for me, that was a real pull as well. I really like being flexible with my time as well. So I love that I'm able to do that as a freelancer, and I like to um, move about a lot as I said for the traveling so the goal ultimately in the future is to be able to to travel and work as I travel um so while I was working at the agency that I was at last um a friend of a friend um actually needed a, a full-time freelancer that sounds strange but again it, it was <laughs> it was uh that kind of thing where she had her own business but needed sort of ad hoc work but it was enough to sort of full fulfill a full-time salary so I went and worked with her for six months and then off the back of that I was like that gives me time to build my own clientele yeah. within six months um to keep me going after that point so that was kind of my journey it, it wasn't all planned out from the beginning I kind of figured a lot of it out as I went along so as I said um you figure out what you really like and what you really don't and what works for you as well yeah mm. uh, definitely after university and going into different jobs and starting to explore the the career and the industry that you want to go into that you definitely like you said you find out what you like um what you like about certain jobs how you like working and what you don't like i mean there's jobs i've literally kept for two days <laughs> because i've been like <laughs> <laughs> no, can't do this no this isn't what I wanted um but you you learn that as you go on and obviously that's now led you to the decision that you want to be freelance um and obviously again I know I keep going back to university but I guess you know keeping on doing projects throughout university is all I guess in a sense that's almost kind of being a bit freelance whilst you're at university because you are producing your own work so again it helps you along that journey to decide whether you want to to go freelance or not yeah yeah and it taught I guess sorry going back to that question no, about what did university teach you but sort of managing those workloads as well like you're never sort of rarely working on just one thing at a time you're working on lots of different things with different time spans um, and you have to figure out okay how am I going to organize my time um, sort of yeah how am I going to manage these workloads which whether you're a freelance designer or not, is really valuable because it's rare that you're going to be working on just one project at, at a time. And a lot of the time you're going to get pushed to um, do things very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be ready. Like, Can I have this by tomorrow? <laughs> um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you do have to really manage your time very well. For you generally at the minute, what does your current role look like? So what are the sub some of the tasks that you perform what does it i mean i want to say what does an average week look like but i imagine as a freelancer that that can mean anything so much yeah <laughs> I think that's <laughs> <of> it. <laughs> it, can, it can start off being one thing on a monday <laughs> and by thursday the week's changed completely yeah. um so um an average week so i'd say at the moment what i'll start there at the moment yeah. what am i working on um so 
I literally this morning had a call about working on a book cover for someone. So that's quite exciting. Um, I'm also um, doing a lot of web-based stuff. So I partnered with um, a local web designer who's launching their own business, but needs um, freelance designers. So I guess that's the beauty of freelancing. I can take on my own clients or I can partner with existing businesses or existing design houses that just sort of need um, help on, not on a permanent basis, on like a temporary basis. So I'm also doing sort of web design with this person who has set up their own um, digital design company. So that's ongoing till about uh, December, January time. Um, what else do we have going on? I've just wrapped up some work with a radio station, working on some podcast graphics for them. So I wrapped that up literally this morning um, <laughs> before we came on this call. <laughs> Exciting. Um, and also finishing off some branding for a candle company. Um, they wanted to redo their branding. So eventually that will develop into web design and things like that. But right now it's logos, um, packaging, business cards, the works, which yeah. is exciting. I love projects like that where I get to just make over everything. It's really yeah. good. Um, so a standard day and week, it can really vary. It changes <laughs> dramatically. Sort of one email, one call from someone can sort of um, change the day completely. I try to aim to sort of have two or three bigger projects that keep me going for a month or two or a few months. And then um, sort of in between those, take on smaller projects to fill out the gaps. So usually I'm working on one big piece of work for a long amount of time and smaller things will crop up in between. Um, so that might give a little bit of an idea. Yeah. 